Welcome back to another class of how to become system administrator in 2025. This is another playlist related to the same content. And in this class, I'm going to guide you about how we can configure backup for Windows Server operating system. I'm not going to use any kind of third party application because you know that in the market, n number of uh, third party applications are available that will help you to take the backup of our server computer. But here we are going to discuss about uh, the built-in feature that provided by Microsoft itself. We are going to use the same features to take the backup of Windows Server operating system. Not only the operating system, we are also going to protect uh, file and folders and uh, we'll also protect our AD objects. So let me move ourselves to the screen and guide you about the procedure, how we can configure and activate the backup part. And uh, we'll also take the backup of our active active open services. I'm Manjit Rao, your online inspector, and you are watching Teach Me Cloud YouTube channel. So let me help you to understand about the concept first. And after that, we'll move ourselves to the portal. Portal in the sense like I'm going to open our Microsoft uh, uh, Server 2019 and active active domain services is already running properly. So let me give you the proper step how we can uh, configure Windows Server Backup, Windows Server Backup, okay? Meanwhile, let me share my screen. But uh, before that, if you're watching my video first time, so please do subscribe because Teach Me Cloud is a single technical training based YouTube channel that give you 100% live practical based video without skip any step. So let's let, let's move to the screen. I hope you guys are able to see my screen. Agenda is clear like we are going to take the backup of Windows Server operating system. So like other, other operating system, we successfully established one Windows Server 2019. Yes, the, the server operating system that I used to install Active Active Domain Services, Server 2019. And I have already configured domain controller with name of cloud.com right so in the cloud.com what i did i have already created multiple objects i'm talking about the users maybe some groups are also available configured some group policy right some gpu so our responsibility to understand about the options that are available in our windows server for the backup purpose We'll discuss about the types of backup that are available in server and after that we'll show you the steps to protect our ad objects right so in windows server if we talk about the backup so we are able to find three different types of backup services are available windows server under windows server backup we are able to find three different options one is file and folder backup and uh, the second one is related to system state backup and the third one is bare metal backup right so total three different types of backup we are able to find in our windows server operating system each and every backup are responsible to perform the specific task like file and folder as with the name suggest if you want to protect the data from your uh, data of your windows server operating system then file and folder backup our full server backup will help you, right? Second, system state backup, as for the name suggests, the responsibility of system state backup to protect the active directory users, objects, and the other uh, services which are associated with the ADDS, other services like as a DNS, other services like as a group policy management. If you have already established any kind of uh, group policy and you are trying to protect the GPO, again, system state backup can help you. Any kind of user, or any kind of uh, containers like uh, organizational unit or site or group or computer, you want to protect these types of objects and containers. Again, system state backup can help you. The last one is bare metal backup. As for the name suggests, the responsibility of bare metal backup that will help us to protect the whole operating system. Means if any problem occurred with uh, your hard drive or uh, uh, your, your system is not working properly, your operating system is unable to uh, work, so that time you just need to proceed with the, the bare metal backup, right? So these three different types of backup services are available in Windows Server Operating System. Let me move ourselves to uh, the Server Operating System and guide you about the option, uh, how, we can, uh, how we can configure the server backup and how we can achieve the result. <coughs> this is our Windows Server Operating System. Let me show you the number of uh, users that I have already created. So open dsa.msc. 
and cloud.com is our domain name go to the users and uh, uh, we just need to open the domain and see how check how many users are available so unfortunately no users are available let me create one user with name of tony Okay, one more user just wanted to create for uh, testing purpose, Clark user, right? Uh, one more, please. One Telnet user, I also want to create one more user, Telnet. Number of users, how many users we successfully created? Three different users are available in our domain controller and we are going to protect these users. If accidentally deleted, if accidentally deleted, so if you have already taken the backup of a Windows Server operating system, uh, system state backup, we are able to, like I said, save it. Second important part, destination or repository, because whenever we take the backup, you must need to put the backup file in the specific location. So you always try to use your external hard drive or maybe share storage because you always try to put the backup data in SAN storage or NAS storage that you establish. Uh, but we are in training, so I'm going to uh, create this mgmt.msc. I'm going to put uh, the backup file in same computer. So we have a 59 gig of space. Let me sync some space to create another party and to uh, like it just store our backup data, not much, 25 GB. I'm going to sync and create a partition. And this drive we are going to use for the backup file only. We are going to put, we are going to store only backup files. Backup, next, finish. All right, so another drive is ready to use and which is fully blank. We haven't uploaded any kind of data. Go to the server manage dashboard and click add role and features because we are not going to use any third party application to take the backup go to the next 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 and the last option basically this is the type of feature so do not search in role option open features option and in the features we are able to find one option windows server backup so what you need to do you must need to check mark it and install This is first step that you need to start, right? So uh, install Windows Server Backup and uh, after that uh, we are going to uh, configure the backup and we'll also show you the result. Like we'll also give you the, uh, the, the steps how we can restore the Windows Server Backup, uh, rest restore Windows Server computer from backup. Okay, it is in progress. Let's wait for a few more minutes. Okay, successfully installed. Go to the tools. And last options we are able to find. Last, last option is related to the Windows Server Backup. It will redirect you on this particular wizard. Go to the local backup. <coughs> and in the local backup, we are able to find multiple options. You can schedule backup. You can proceed with backup once. Recover. We don't have any restore point, so we are not able to recover it. I'm going to proceed with backup once because I wanted to show you the result. We'll discuss more about the backup feature, but for now, I'm going to take the backup once only. Full server backup? No. Custom backup. Proceed with next. Add items. Which one? Which one? Which one? We just need to proceed with system state backup. System state backup can help us to protect the Active Directory database, the objects, containers, right? Group policy. Where you want to put? Definitely, I wanted to put the data in our local storage. Yes, for now. But in the real environment, you always put your data in the shared storage. E drive we just created with capacity of 25 GB. Click next, start backup. This is actual procedure that you need to use to create a backup for your active active domain services. All right, please. So definitely it's trying to calculate the amount of data that uh, server want to take backup. So maybe it will take time up to five minutes. So I'm just going to pause the video 
and uh, we'll 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 redeem it again up once our backup is completely successful okay we successfully completed the backup of our uh, microsoft uh, uh, system state and our responsibility we are just going to restore our uh, uh, backup but before that let me delete some users that we created so open dsa.msc for the testing purpose only i'm going to remove these two different users i'm just going to delete these two users and after that we are going to proceed and restore these deleted users so this is all about taking backup of our Activity, yes, because number of backup services are available in AD. So we just number of backups are available in server. So we just completed the part of system state backup that will help you to take the backup of only objects and group policy and DNS services. So in next class, I'm going to guide you each and everything. Please do subscribe your on Teach Me Cloud YouTube channel. Take care, guys. Bye bye.